this is my tutorial for a patriotic themed snow globe tumbler. So I know my last few tutorials have been the snow globes, but y'all, I bought a whole dang case. So you'll be seeing a couple more of these. Besides, they are so easy and fast to make and perfect for summer. So please bear with me as I work through my current snow globe obsession. It won't last much longer, I promise. For prep, I'll be taping off my tumbler and scuffing up the surface with an 80 grit sanding block. Then I'll be ready to add my stencil vinyl with stars and stripes. After you're finished adding your stencil vinyl, you'll be ready to add your spray paint. This time I'm going to be doing a glitter design on this tumbler and since I can't do the epoxy method, you'll see why in a bit. I'll be doing the tacket method with Southern Belle glitter foil glue.
I want the look of raised glitter, like a little bit of the raised glitter effect. And to get that effect, I'm gonna be doing two coats using the Tacket Method. And to help my glitter flatten down for this second coat, I'm gonna be taking a paper towel and 91% alcohol and rubbing it over my second layer. I did not come up with this trick. I saw it in one of my, I think it was in one of my Tumblr groups a couple years ago. But if you know who did, was like the first person to post this or know who posted this, please feel free to comment their name below. And if you guys noticed, I did not use hot glue or anything so I could find my stencils. Because we're flattening it down, you can still see the stencils underneath the glitter. But I like how doing two coats using the tacking method, it kind of gives like that raised glitter effect. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. But now that we've done the blue section, we're going to go ahead and do our red section. When you're all done, seal your glitter. Now this is why we couldn't do the epoxy method because normally with the epoxy method, I would pull up my stencils right after I was done glittering. Then I would do the clear sealer to keep my glitter from moving. I can't do that with this acrylic tumbler. I need to keep the stencils on, seal it, then pull up the stencils so the sealer doesn't seal in that scuffed acrylic surface. Normally this would in no way affect the epoxy surface, but the acrylic one, the sealer will give your acrylic tumbler a dull look and it will take away some of the shine. I made this mistake on my practice tumbler. It kind of gives a look of, kind of like, it looks like frosted glass, which can be a cool effect on certain designs and it doesn't look bad. I actually kind of like it. I think it a happy accident for future designs, but if you want full gloss, full sparkle, keep your stencils on before spraying your sealer. Of course I'm gonna be adding extra sparkle. Of course, of course I am. Y'all know this, y'all know this, but you can skip this stuff if you like, but just go ahead and do it, do it.
Once cured, I used Chunky Parabatai from Peachy Olive for my snow glow portion and sealed the bottom. If you would like a longer explanation on how I fill and seal my snow globes, I'll put a previous snow globe tutorial we made in the upper right hand corner of your screen if you'd like to check it out. The glitter I'll be using to seal my bottom is a custom mix that I made last year. I cannot remember what colors are in it, but I only used it because my PDB Americana glitter hasn't come in yet. So if you want a multicolored patriotic themed glitter, grab yourself some Americana from PDB. You can leave your tumbler as is, it is absolutely gorgeous as is, or you can add some outlines to your stars or a saying. I just decided on a saying and sealed her up till she was nice and smooth. Let cure and then you'll be all done. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all of my mentorship and channel members. Your support is literally everything. Have fun making your patriotic themed snow globe tumblers and I'll see you again next time.